he is known for being a French philosopher and playwright. He is recognized for his work on the modern individual struggle in a technologically dehumanizing society. He authored The Mystery of Being. His name is Gabriel Marcel. Gabriel Honoré Marcel, a prominent French philosopher, was a man of many talents. Born into a world of intellect and creativity, Marcel grew up with a thirst for knowledge and a deep understanding of the human condition. His parents, recognizing his potential, encouraged him to explore various fields, from philosophy to music criticism, and even playwriting. As Marcel delved into the complexities of human existence, he became a leading figure in Christian existentialism. His work focused on the struggles faced by individuals in a rapidly advancing and dehumanizing society. He believed that technology was robbing humanity of its essence, leaving individuals disconnected from their own authentic selves. While Marcel is often associated with the existentialist movement, he distanced himself from figures like Jean-Paul Sartre. He preferred to define his own thought as the philosophy of existence or neo-Socratianism, emphasizing the importance of individual experience and the search for meaning in a world that seemed increasingly fragmented. One of Marcel's most renowned works is, The Mystery of Being, a two-volume masterpiece that delves into the profound questions surrounding human existence. In this magnum opus, Marcel explores the complexities of life, seeking to unravel the mysteries that lie at the core of our being. Gabriel Marcel's legacy endures, as his writings continue to inspire new generations of thinkers. His philosophy reminds us that in a world driven by technology and materialism, it is essential to reconnect with our own humanity and explore the depths of our existence. Through his profound insights and thought-provoking ideas, Marcel has left an indelible mark on the philosophical landscape, challenging us to find meaning and purpose in a rapidly changing world. Gabriel Marcel, a renowned philosopher, was born on December 7, 1889 in Paris, France. Raised by his father and aunt after the early passing of his Jewish mother, Marcel's upbringing was shaped by a diverse cultural background. At the age of eight, he spent a year in a foreign land where his father served as a minister plenipotentiary. As Marcel entered adulthood, his intellectual prowess became evident. In 1910, at the remarkably young age of 20, he completed his DES thesis and obtained the aggregation in philosophy from the prestigious Sorbonne. This early accomplishment marked the beginning of his illustrious career. The outbreak of the First World War saw Marcel contribute to society in a unique way. He served as the head of the information service, a vital role in conveying news of injured soldiers to their families. Beyond his wartime duties, Marcel engaged with various pursuits, from teaching in secondary schools to working as a drama critic for literary journals. Additionally, he found himself editing for Plan, a prominent French Catholic publisher. While Marcel's father was agnostic, his own spiritual journey took a significant turn in 1929 when he converted to Catholicism. This conversion was not merely a change in religious affiliation but a testament to Marcel's open-mindedness and opposition to anti-Semitism. He believed in the importance of reaching out to individuals of different faiths and backgrounds. Gabriel Marcel's philosophy and life's work were deeply rooted in his personal experiences and beliefs. His unique perspective, shaped by his diverse upbringing and intellectual pursuits, continues to offer valuable insights into the human condition. Marcel's contributions to philosophy serve as a guiding light for individuals seeking to navigate the complexities of daily life. Gabriel Marcel, one of the pioneers of existentialism, sought to explore the depths of human subjectivity in the challenges it faces in a modern, technological world. He rejected the objectification of others and believed in the possibility of true communion, where individuals can perceive each other's subjectivity. In his play, Le Palais de Sable, Marcel illustrated the consequences of objectification through the character of Moirens, who failed to treat his daughters as subjects, ultimately degrading himself in the process. But Marcel's concerns extended beyond interpersonal relationships. He recognized the threat of modern materialism and technology, which he saw as eroding human subjectivity. Marcel argued that scientific egoism, with its focus on technical problems and solutions, replaced the inherent mystery of being. In this technological world, the human subject was replaced by a mere object, stripped of its true essence. Marcel warned of the privileged authority that technology held, persuading individuals to accept their place as objects in the scientific dialogue. This acceptance, he believed, led to a dangerous annihilation of the self. As he eloquently put it, man is convinced by science to rejoice in his own annihilation. The struggle to protect one's subjectivity from this technological onslaught became a central theme in Marcel's philosophy. In our daily lives, Marcel's ideas remind us of the importance of recognizing the subjectivity and dignity of others. We must resist objectification and strive for genuine communion, where we truly see and understand each other as unique individuals. 
Moreover, Marcel's caution against the dehumanizing effects of technology urges us to critically examine our relationship with it. We should question whether we are allowing ourselves to be reduced to mere objects in the face of technological advancements. As we navigate a rapidly changing world, Gabriel Marcel's philosophy provides us with valuable insights. By embracing our subjectivity and rejecting objectification, we can foster meaningful connections with others. And by remaining vigilant against the dehumanizing influences of technology, we can preserve our own sense of self and dignity. Gabriel Marcel, a renowned philosopher, was not only known for his profound philosophical treatises but also for his influential role in shaping the minds of younger French philosophers. Marcel hosted a weekly philosophy discussion group, where he had the opportunity to meet and impact the lives of important figures such as Jean Wall, Paul Ricoeur, Emmanuel Levinas, and Jean-Paul Sartre. These encounters allowed Marcel to share his wisdom and philosophy with the next generation of thinkers, leaving a lasting impression on their intellectual journeys. However, Marcel found himself puzzled and disappointed that his reputation was primarily based on his philosophical writings rather than his plays. He had a strong desire to reach a wider lay audience through his dramatic works, hoping to engage them in philosophical ideas in a more accessible and relatable manner. Despite this setback, Marcel's influence continued to grow as he inspired not only philosophers but also individuals from various walks of life. One notable individual who was profoundly influenced by Marcel's philosophy was Carol Wojtyla, a phenomenologist and Thomistic philosopher. Wojtyla drew upon Marcel's distinction between being and having to articulate his critique of technological change. Marcel's insights provided Wojtyla with a foundation for understanding the impact of technology on human existence and the potential dangers it posed to our understanding of self and humanity. Marcel's philosophy emphasized the importance of human experience and the significance of personal relationships in a world increasingly driven by materialism and technology. His distinction between being and having invited individuals to reflect on the deeper aspects of their lives, encouraging them to prioritize their relationships and experiences over material possessions and superficial achievements. In a society where the pursuit of material wealth and external validation often dominates, Marcel's philosophy offers a guiding light for individuals seeking a more meaningful and fulfilling existence. By embracing Marcel's ideas, we can learn to value the richness of our experiences, cherish our relationships, and find true fulfillment in the depth of our being. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.